as Anders is a sculptor, he's used to working with surface material and form. And he's a very spatial artist, his, his, his volumes everybody knows. So discussions about how big spaces should be and the nature of the surfaces of those spaces was one where, where there, were, there were quite a few conversations. But also at the same time, because we were making so many studios, we had the opportunity to be iterative in the way the studios developed as a design aesthetic. So initially they were quite pure, but as we went further into the journey of making the studios, they became more rudimentary in a way as you'd expect an artist studio to be. There are, there are seven studios altogether and within each individual studio there are specific acts occurring. Some studio spaces are for making form, some are for finishing, some are for surfacing, some are for documentation, some are private painting studios. They all have a specific use but at the same time they all have the capacity to be flexible in the future because an artist is always developing new ideas so they also have to be spaces for innovation as well. The capacity for the roof on the new spaces we've created is higher than you would normally expect in a building of that a typology of that type. We can support three tons on any individual beam so adding that together the load can be quite quite extreme. It also meant that the, te the nature of the construction had to respond to that and you were using normal industrial materials like profile metal decks etc to create the spaces. And she's been on this site in, in, in South London for I think 20 years or so from very early in his career till now, where it's, it's, it's perhaps fair to say it's at a different level, he has worked and created pieces on, in this place. Now, that's important because as an artist, you sometimes make marks on walls or you tattoo them with ideas and scribe into them. And in a sense, what we had to maintain was that history, that archeology, span because it's important to the um, spirit of how an artist works. You have to feel at home when you're creating work. So one of the biggest challenges we had was to try and make an environmentally and programmatically better building, set of buildings for him, but at the same time not lose some of that, that um, creative juice, that, that creative space that, that he needs and that he felt comfortable with.